how to automatically highlight cells in Excel whenever the expiration date expired, or actually we can use a threshold. So let's say the difference between the expiration date and the two days date is less than or equal to seven days or one week. Excel is gonna highlight those cells with a yellowish color. And whenever the expiration date has already expired, those cells is gonna be highlighted with a head color. So here we're gonna use two different criteria. So let's take a look here on how can we create this automatically alert pop-up in Excel step-by-step -step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that we need in order to create the automatic pop-up is to have a data set. And your data set can be completely different than mine. It doesn't matter, okay? You can use your own data set. Here I'm using a stock report with informations such as the product, quantity, manufacturing date, days to expiry, and uh, expiration date. So let's say here, I want to highlight automatically the products. It can be either, let's say, the product name itself, or here in the expiration date. I can highlight, uh, doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter the column that you want to highlight, the cells, the range. Here, I want to use the expiration date to highlight those cells. Uh, whenever the expiration date is close to today's date. Because let's say, how you know that a product is expired? Because if you are in the January 10th, let's say the product is gonna expire in January 15th. Here we have five days in between the today's date and the expiry date of the product. So maybe uh, it's important to highlight this product because it's too close to expiry. We can use this logic. And uh, knowing that we need to use the two days date and to have the two days date, we can use manually a uh, formula or input manually the two days date, or we can be a little bit more intelligent and use the two day function in Excel. Equal two day, double click once you to select, you can close parentheses and then enter. This function is going to return the today date, your today. It doesn't matter if you are watching this video 10 years in the future, because it's going to appear for you your today's date. It doesn't matter what is your today, okay? So this is important to say. My today is de December 27th of 2023, but it doesn't matter, okay? I can input the today's function in any cell here in Excel. Let me use here the cell J2 equal sign today and then double click one, two, enter, and I'm done. Now, whenever I update the spreadsheet, close the spreadsheet, open again, the date is gonna be automatically updated for me. Now, how can I calculate here the expiration date? Equal sign, the manufacturing date, and to or plus sign, the days to expiry. And then I'm gonna press enter. Here, I'm gonna have the final date or the expiration date. Let me cl click here in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down to make sure I have all the expiration dates. Now we can move on to the last step, that is to create a conditional formatting to whenever I have an expiration date that is too close to my two days date, be, I want to highlight automatically all those cells. So let me select here the entire range that I want to use, and then I'm going to click here, Home tab, here to the right, conditional formatting, click, and then I can select new rule. With this new window that's gonna appear here for me, I can select the less option. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. The formula that I can use here can be when the difference between the today's date and the expiration date is, let's say, equal to or less than five days, I want to highlight the cells. Or you can use less than one week, that is seven days. Uh, anyway, you can use greater than, that is this sign right here, or less than, or you can combine those two previous symbols with the equal sign to have greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. This one uh, is the one that I'm gonna use because I want to have less than or equal to five days. But uh, to, how can I calculate the difference between two dates? Let's say, first, I want to have the expiration date. So I'm going to click here in the first cell. And because I want to calculate all the cells that I have, all the expiration dates, 
I can't let the selection like this with the dollar sign before the letter and the dollar sign before the number because it means that both column and rows are fixed in the same position, are locked. But I just want to lock the column or once you have the reference in the column F. But I don't want to lock the row number three, the third row. I want to have the third row, the fourth one, the fifth one, and on and on. So instead of using here this dollar sign, I'm going to read it off. Let me read it off this dollar sign. And then the expiration date minus uh, the today's date. I can click here in the cell that I have. Or you can use here inside within this formula bar the two days function. It's going to work in the same way. But because we already use here the two days function within the cell, we can click in the cell. Okay, it's going to work in the same way. And here, minus the today's date, I'm going to leave it with the, those both dollar signs because actually I want to, the reference is stay in the same position always. And then whenever this math, this calculation is less than or equal to five, I want to highlight the cell. So let me click here for math and I'm going to choose few. I want to have a yellowish color, maybe like this one here. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again. And as you guys can see, none of those dates are being highlighted. It's because there is no date right here. That is, the difference between the two days date is less than the five days. But let's pretend I'm not anymore in December of 2023. Now I am, let's say, in January. Let's take a date here. It can be January 20 of 2024. Okay, let's use like this. Or maybe 2024. Enter. As you guys can see, the first date is going to be automatically highlighted for me. And also this one right here. Because now the difference between those two dates is less than or equal to 5. Now let's change this date right here. Let's say I am in the March, uh, March 1st of 2024 enter as you guys can see a lot of more dates is going to be highlighted for me so this is how we can automatically highlight cells in excel whenever the expiration date is done let's say uh, using a threshold that is five days in between or seven days or whatever but something to be mindful here just to finish the conclusion is even though i have let's say this first cell right here this first date uh, the product is fired in the January 26th, 60th, and uh, it's already in the past comparing to my two days date. So even though uh, it's still being highlighted for me, so this is something that you need to be mindful. If you wish, all those past dates you can highlight with a different color, such as head, for example. Let me show you here. Let me select here everything. And whenever the difference between home tab, conditional format, new rule, the difference between those dates are a negative number. I want to highlight with a head color here. Equal sign, select the first cell uh, in the expiration date, read it off the dollar sign, and then subtract the two days date. Whenever this math is less than or equal to zero or less than zero, let's say less than zero or a negative number in other words, format, I want to use a head color. Okay. Okay. And yeah, as you guys can see here, all those dates are already expired. And uh, if I change here again the date, let's say I'm going to take January 24th of 2024. Enter. The first one is going to be yellow. And uh, here, the last one is going to be head because it's already have been expired. So here we have uh, the difference is negative, a negative number. And here in the yellow one, uh, it's in between the threshold. So let's say less than five or equal to five. It's in the limit. So this is why it's yellow. So this is how we can create here a automatic highlight in Excel whenever you have those expiration dates criteria met. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below because every day has a new video. So I see you there.